Hello guys, welcome in Cool IT Health. In this video tutorial, we will see the installation of PostgreSQL on Windows 10. So here's the checklist that I have prepared in, in the notepad. We are going to install the version 12.1 on Windows 10. And uh, the com installation has uh, these three steps. So we will see step one by one. In the first step, we will download the Postgre installer for Windows, the right installer. And the second step, we will proceed with the installation of Postgre on Windows 10. After that, we will see the verification of the installation, that installation is done successfully or not. So these are the basic steps. So we will proceed with the step one. This is very simple. Guys, you can see there's a download link and uh, i'm going to copy it you guys can copy this link in the description box and uh, just open your favorite browser and go to the address bar and paste this address here and press enter so you guys will see this page and uh, this is the postgre sql database download official page so here we have this grid so multiple options are available for the download you can see which is the latest version 12.1 is available for mac os x and windows 64 bit and this is not available for 32 bit you guys want to proceed with the 32 bit system so you guys can download the version 10.11 which is available for all platforms so you can proceed that uh with that installer and you can uh, proceed here with this video tutorial so the step will be same for all kind of words so here in this example i'm going to download the 64 bit because uh, my machine is 64 bit architecture so here's the download link just click on it once and uh, finally you will see this message thank you for downloading postgresql and uh, you can see on the left hand side downloading is started the file size is 187 mb guys so we have to wait for the completion of this download if you have a good network speed so it will be completed soon otherwise it will take time also guys you can see on this page uh, there are some resources available documentation training and uh, there's a PostgreSQL community so you can join if you have a doubt and question you want to explore more so you can guys can go there and ask their questions so the per community persons will reply you back also there's a feature of a uh, PostgreSQL uh, available in cloud so you can just click this button and uh, you can proceed uh, for using the cloud version of Postgre so this is only for free trial further you have to pay some amount to use uh, completely and here downloading is finished now we will proceed with this step 2 so here we have to click on the installer to start the installation process guys just click on this exe it will start okay so you can see the very first window here uh, actually this is a pre-requirement microsoft visual c++ the specific version that is not installed in my machine that's why the installer has detected and it is installing the first required framework and then the actual installation will take place so framework is installed now the first window of the installation is appeared welcome to the postgresql setup wizard guys click on here next and uh, the, it will ask you for the installation directory so guys this is the uh, database management system so i will suggest you that if you have a good space in the c drive so you can proceed and if you think that there's a very less space available in the c drive so you can choose the different installation directory okay if you have a good space so leave this thing as it is and click here on the next okay so here the already selected components which are uh, very useful the first one is the sql server 
PG admin tool, this is a GUI tool to connect the database. There we can execute the queries and the command line tools also available. So we will leave that as it is checked. Here, this is the data directory. This is the very important place where the PostgreSQL will create the data and it will store all the data. Okay. So right now it is storing here inside the program files and there's a folder PostgreSQL 12 and the data folder. So the same thing uh, we can proceed with the, uh, the default path or if there's a space problem in your drive so you can change the data directory otherwise I will suggest leave this thing as it is and now click on the next and guys this is the important thing this is the password for the super user so the postgres is a user and here you have to give the password for that so guys make sure whatever the password you're going to give that will be uh, not too much complex just give a very simple password and also I will suggest you to note down this password somewhere else because while connecting with the database you have to provide this password time to time that's why I store this password somewhere in the notepad so what I'm doing for the demonstration purpose, I am storing this password here in this notepad. So I made the password admin admin. Okay, coming back on this screen, click next. And here is the important thing. You have to specify one port. So, so installer has detected that this 5434 is free. If you are running a lots of program and if you think that you, this port is busy so you can specify any port of your choice if you are not sure so guys leave this port as it is 5434 okay this is automatically detected and uh, you will not face any problem by using this port so now click here on the next and uh, this is the advanced option here it is asking for the locale in which locale you are so there is a choice default locale auto selection if you have if you are doing any installation on remote machine or something uh, different requirement with you so you can choose the locale by clicking here in this drop down and uh, you can select the locale of your choice it depends on you but uh, if you are uh, common user just proceed with that def default locale and finally you will the you will see the summary whatever the selection you have done installation directory is uh, c drive and the server installation is also the c drive the data directory is also c drive so most of this stuff is going in a c drive in a same folder so you will not face any problem to search any file here in the database and the port is 5434 you guys can copy these information and save somewhere else uh, for uh, your further use so you will not face any problem now come back here in the down and click here on the next next button okay now it is ready to install uh, everything is uh, good to go click next and the installation process is started now after completion of that green progress bar we will see this window that post post gray sql installation is done successfully now we are good to go just uncheck this box and click on the finish button so your installation is done successfully okay so we have done the installation and step two is completed now now we are on the step three so we have to verify the installation so what we have to do we have to open psql.cmd command utility okay there we will execute a very simple command to verify the installation it's very easy now go to here in the start button and uh, look for the folder postgre and here it is sql shell which is the command utility click once and you will see the very first uh, the server localhost it is asking you for a very different if you want to proceed if you have a different one so you can specify the localhost otherwise simply press enter I will suggest you proceed with the default settings press enter 
and you will see it will saying that database going to be used postgres press enter then it will say you the port so the default port will be used 5434 which is already there and press enter the user will be postgres press enter you will see the password so guys here we have to give the password that we have saved here in the step 2 so i have given the password admin admin press enter and you will see the all these information pssql 12.1 come back here and uh, here we will see this uh, command and we will write the command here select version Don't forget to place the semicolon and press enter and, and you will see this message. This message tell you that uh, the installation is uh, successfully done. So guys, this is the process you can install PostgreSQL on your Windows 10. Uh, for the further connection, we will use the admin tool to connect the database there we will see how to connect to the database and how we can select uh, we can create the different server and how we can proceed for uh, writing some queries and we will execute some query and uh, we will see the creation of table so all this stuff will be uh, described in my next tutorial so guys uh, please watch that tutorial and uh, please like this video as well and uh, please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help